example, if you are stressing out about which language for you to learn and you just wanted to figure that out, this might be the perfect channel for you because in today's video, we are going to pick and talk about the top programming languages for you to learn in 2021. Coming up. Welcome back to my channel. I am passionate about helping people to get into coding, learning how to code, expanding your expertise in web development, maybe consider subscribing. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the top programming languages in 2021. Let's begin. The first programming languages that I would recommend is actually JavaScript because JavaScript is super easy to learn, um, even though it's very quirky and weird, but I think that I kind of like the quirky part of JavaScript. There's a huge community out there. JavaScript is definitely a very entrepreneurial language. You can use JavaScript to build the front end, the back end, a full stack application pretty easily. You can build a entire startup company just by using JavaScript. No matter if you're going to go into freelancing or if you are just currently wanted to be a coder and looking for a job, I think that JavaScript is a great language to learn in 2021 and it will continue to be one of the top programming language to learn. One of the caveats of JavaScript is that um, TypeScript is getting also very, very popular. I've seen the trend of TypeScript getting more and more relevant, not only from a personal use perspective and also a lot of companies in general is moving from JavaScript to TypeScript. So TypeScript is basically similar to JavaScript. It's just that it is JavaScript, but with types. I would highly, highly, highly recommend JavaScript slash TypeScript as one of the top programming languages in 2021. So the second top programming language that I would absolutely recommend is Python. You've heard a lot of people recommending Python in the past. And the reason for that is because not only Python is super easy to learn, it has a huge community out there that you can get a lot of support from other people. Computer science is very broad and there's so many different kinds of fields. And with knowing Python, you can apply to all different kinds of professions. For instance, you can do data science, artificial intelligence, um, machine learning, or even web development with Python. So if you are wondering which languages that you should be learning between Python and JavaScript, um, go ahead and check out the video right here. I think it's right on this side or that side. I don't really remember which side, but go ahead and check it out. So the third popular top programming languages to learn is Java slash Colin. You are currently in school for computer science. The chances of school teaching you Java is really high. And one of the reasons why is because Java is probably one of the oldest programming languages there are so many companies that are still using Java in their infrastructure. So you'll still see a lot of companies have Java code in their code base or even building up things with Java. Also, Java has a really advantage of building Android apps. And I've also seen a trend of Colin, which is another Android uh, mobile app development programming language that it has been up and coming. Do I even dare to say that might be replacing Java? Oh no! I still think that even till today, there are so many opportunities for Java and Java developers, even though Java isn't that easy to learn comparing to Python and JavaScript. But I think that Java is a great first language to learn if you are currently learning, especially the coding paradigms and all of that are very similar. So once you know Java, it's gonna be easier for you to learn the rest of the languages. Regardless, Java is also has a, a lot of job opportunities um, in web development, in mobile, in machine learning, and all of that. And I've definitely seen a lot of 
Java developers all around the world and you would definitely get a ton of support not only online but also all around different parts of the world. Fourth languages that I would recommend to everyone and it's been one of the top languages to learn it would be Swift. So Swift is a programming language for building Apple, iOS, mobile apps. It's kind of like Java and Colin to build mobile apps, but instead of building mobile apps, you're building iOS apps specifically. And it's definitely more pleasant to be developing iOS apps, and there's a lot of freelancing opportunities out there. And not only it's easier to look for freelancing opportunities, but also it's easier to actually look for positions in big tech companies. I've seen in the past maybe year or two, there's a huge trend of moving from you know web applications to actually more native on the mobile applications. And I've seen a lot of companies are putting a lot of resources into developing mobile applications. So I would say that in the future, you'll see more and more opportunities in the mobile. Swift is a really beginner friendly language um, there's a ton of fun learning it and it's definitely very exciting when you see that your mobile app is released on the app store and you'll be able to share it with your friends it's really exciting and rewarding to do being able to do that okay so the last but not the least is sql sql so sql stands for structure query languages by that i mean sql is not really a programming language it is more like a language to talk to the database and one of the reasons why i think it's one of the top programming languages in 2021 it's because sql has always been there for like the ages of times like it's not involving as much and as often as the rest of the other languages and the reason for that is it's very straightforward and simple it's literally a language to get information from the database so if you are thinking about becoming a back-end developer or you're thinking about even becoming a data scientist knowing SQL is very important there are a lot of job opportunities obviously business analysts data analysts or even data scientists they all know and had to use SQL to do a lot of different data manipulations and being able to retrieve the information from the database so I would say that SQL is a pretty solid programming language to learn not necessary is a programming language but it's definitely something that is worth learning the last but not the least and it probably isn't a programming language but I wanted to throw it out there is social media I think that social media has been becoming more and more crucial especially for software developers it's a great way to building up your personal brand and it's definitely a great way to put yourself out there to establish that type of expertise to the rest of the world no matter if you're a freelancer or if you are currently looking for a job opportunity or you are a very experienced software engineer I still think that being able to present yourself in the digital world and being able to share your expertise on the internet it will remain to be one of the top and highest skill sets that you should acquire as a software developer Yo, are you still very confused about you know deciding whether or not you should be learning javascript or python i've got this video where i go in depth into comparing javascript and python you are clicking on these videos and check them out okay so until next time i'll talk to you guys soon bye